Hello again. Action packed day today. Gonna head off in the poly steps direction. But I've um, got my phone arriving later. So I wanna get that set up, do some bits and pieces with it, check it's all working, etc. Be lovely. And woke up this morning to realize that in the night I've had a baby. What? Yeah, I've had a baby. I'll show you it. Here you go. Had a little baby. I have, look. That's been in the fridge. It's one of my conkers from last year, from the conker tree in the car park. And the lid's been on that container all winter until this morning when I opened it up. And the lid was pushed up along with the wet tissue paper. And inside we have a conker. Just take him out. There he is. Have to plan that out later. Lovely. Okay, so time to plant out. Got the pot I used last year, quite a big one. Stones in the bottom, holes in the bottom. A little bit of the earth from last year. And I've got some, well, what I used last year again. So we'll fill that up into the pot. See what about that. Here we go, a little bit of a groove in the middle to put the conker, which actually goes in sideways. Sounds daft, but that's how to do it. There he is. Don't put that root up, don't put that root down. Just leave it sideways and nature takes care of things. Anyway, let's cover him over. There we go, all hidden away. Little, little drop of water. Or quite a bit, to be fair. Give it a good soak first time. Then just top up. Now I'm going to put that in the porch. And, um... Well, I'll keep you updated on it. So that's this year's conker from the conker tree in the car park. We'll soon see it sprout. There we go. That's where it's sat. That's where we do the updates from. It's in the porch. It's in the sunlight from the window. And it's where the one was last year that really took off lovely. Anyway. Back to my walk. So there we go, as I probably said in what you've just watched. That is from September last year, the concrete tree in the car park. I just did the one this year, forgot all about it. Lo and behold, the top had been pushed up this morning in the fridge and there was a great big sprout on it. So that's what I've done with it. Still standing. Right, I can't get the exact, exact line up because I can't stand in the middle of the road, but you can see the Catholic church ahead of me and the building on the left. This is what it looked like many, many years ago. I'll put the date on the photo. This is when it, the, the road used to come on up and all this bit here wasn't there. Here you go. I think, I think that was 4th Street. Not 100% sure what it was called, but used to carry on up along there. There we go. Walking down the side of the Baptist Church now towards Palo Arcade. Here we go, Palo Arcade. Funeral services, ST Newton's Electrical, and Palo Floors. And flowers. Lovely. And more flowers. Lovely. Looney House. Thomas Looney's old house, the marine artist. Built the house and died here in 1873. He's having a facelift. Now normally at Christmas they have a lot of big inflatable decorations in there. Especially on the top of the doors there on the archway. They have a big polar bear bouncing about. It's really quite good. Looney, the marine artist, built this house and died here in 1837 and the current owners had the frontage done in May 2023. Should add that on the bottom, in Byro. Oh, There's yeah. that pothole from yesterday. Yes, certainly a size, isn't it? Blue anchor, 
where a very yappy dog was in the garden and didn't like me daring to walk past it. <laughs> There's a girl Rona in front of the nest, or with a nest in the background, I should say. Tide is certainly low today. In fact, I'm spoiled for choice because there's quite a few places I needed to get to on a low tide to do some then and nows, but don't want to do too many in one video. I've done one already, and I could get through the tunnel. And there's a train! Yay! Train! Yeah, so if I didn't have my phone arriving later, which I want to be back for to make sure I get it, and my baby to plant, I'd probably stay out a bit longer, but I don't think I will today. freight that comes through. Comes through on a Tuesday morning and goes back later but I never out later to see it coming back. China clay apparently. And here we go. At the fish key. Got to love that wisteria. Yeah. 
Go and check in on the beach out, shall we? Why not? A few more beach huts. Now it's a shame really, very very low tide round the back as you just seen, round at poly steps and that. But still, too high a tide to get down on the beach just down here to do that shot of the lighthouse I wanted to do. Never mind, I've got other things I can do instead. Yes, that then and now of the lighthouse from the beach. We'll just have to wait for another day. No ice creams for sale today, I'm afraid. Captain's table is open again, which is good. Just a little breezy on the prom here, which is a shame. I'm going to head down there towards the what was the Royal Hotel, which is now Royal Flats or Royal Court. Anyway, we're going to go back to when it was the hotel. Think about that going down there. Now, I'm going to be quite honest and tell you this is not going to be the most spectacular then and now you've ever seen by far. In fact, you have to use a little bit of imagination and take my word for it. But here we go. Royal Court was the Royal Hotel. Let's go back to 1936. There we go. That was 1936. It's all right. Coasters doing a good trade. And there's the fountain and brunch. The ice cream at the other cone, ice cream cone at the other end here. He's working though, open. There's our secondary potholes. Not the primary pothole now, which we know about up by the blue anchor. Down Regent Street, bakery there, Carol's Cupcakes, taken over as a breakfast place now. Red Fern still closed. Oh, sale agreed. That's good, something might be coming there. The Bella Emporium. Pizzeria. That used to be a news agent's once, that. It's what the cadet tips signs to do with cigarette advertising. Used to be a news agent's went right through both sides, you could walk all the way through. That's the um, Italian. Milano pizza and fried chicken because you can't have pizza without fried chicken and Finn McCall's. Right well there we go thanks for joining me on a bit of a disjointed walk but it was all good gotta get home now see my phone's arrived um, also I met a couple of subscribers who are inviting me to do something with them later on so five o'clock tonight I'm going to do something which will be filmed oh mysterious eh but you'll see what it's about and I tell you it's pretty bloody good excuse my French anyway long and short of it is that's it for now I've got to go and plant me conquer and um, take care thanks for watching thanks for subscribing it's really really appreciated cheers